book. I wrote a 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 book. Welcome. I'm so excited today. Many saying, why are you so excited? We haven't seen you for so long. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but bear with me. I was up to no good. Just kidding. Today, I wrote a book. It's not my first book, but this particular book, I'm excited about it. I really am. You know, a day for me and hopefully for you, I wrote a book. A slapping book. No joke. Want to see it? Here it is. The Great Big Slap. Slapping is unacceptable. Sounds familiar? Should be. It's a kid's book. That's the back cover. I'm gonna write it. You wanna read you want me to read it? I'm so excited. A slapping book. No joke. I wrote a book. And I'm going to read a little snippet for you. I'm excited about this because I never thought I could do, and the illustrator did a good job. His name is Steve Braham. I never thought I could do actually do a kid's book, a picture book. But I, I, ma I master my fears and tackle it. And I love it, how it turned out. It's actually a series. The second is book one and book two. This is the first one. The second one should be on its way soon. Here's a little snippet, a little spoiler alert, if you want to call it that. Christopher knew that he would get into trouble if he said anything to William. But Sarah was different. She was a meek and quiet girl. So he did everything he could to make her feel bad about herself. One day, William found Sarah crying while sitting in front of their house. What happened, he asked. He looked around and saw Christopher sneaking away, looking at Sarah. Now you're gonna have to get the book. So you can find out it's about friendship. It's about bullying, fun. In the end, it all worked out. But you have to read it. I am so excited. It has a lot of graphic. Why did I choose that title? The Great Big Slap. Slapping is unacceptable. I remember when I first, when I was in elementary school in New York, and I couldn't speak English very well. And I'm a little self-conscious, yes about that at the time. And I wanted to prove myself and I tolerate, I'm very tolerant. And I'm the kind of person that I see the outcome before it happened. And every day I would go to school and try to be a good student, but I couldn't. I was in the heart of, IS-210, I don't think that school is in existence anywhere, or they may have changed it 
in Brooklyn. And I remember one day I was walking home and I gave, I had a dollar. You know, back then, candy was like the thing. You could get a bag of candy for 10 cents or 25 cents. And I gave this, another friend of mine, I gave her the dollar to hold for me because I was so trusting. Trust everybody. Open up to everybody. I was an open door. And she took it. And she could. She said she lost it, but I know she stole it from me. But I didn't say anything. I wasn't fighting. But every day I go on the playground, they would try to pick on me. They would pull my ear. I had long hair then. And make fun of me, how I dress, because... I think I wasn't, I didn't have the latest outfit or anything. And the bully would just come. So one day I said to myself, you know, I'm going to have to prove myself. And I did something and I just, I regret it. I regret slapping that bully. I just regret it because... I didn't feel good about it. My heart didn't feel good about it. And then, but, the funny thing about it, all it takes is one slap. That's what some people would say. And they leave you alone. She left me alone. And I was happy. And I got a little bit of respect because then her friends did not try to hurt me or anything. Because, you know, bully always ha need a crowd. And so I thought about this book, and that's why I came up with the title, Slapping is Unacceptable. I didn't feel good doing it, but sometimes you have to prove yourself. That's all I'm saying. And so that's why I wrote this book. It's a two-part series. And I want you, my faithful subscriber, go get the book. Go get the book. Read it. You can go, you can even get the ebook.